Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you're all doing super well and welcome back to episode four of Bougie Brunching with Brooke. I have honestly filmed this video so many times. My chai latte is pretty much done because I've done the intro so many times. Hi everyone, I hope you're all doing well. Welcome to episode four of Bougie Brunching with Brooke. Hope you're all safe and positive and everything like that. And today I'm here to talk about a bit of a different subject. Don't really, didn't really know what I wanted to talk about this week. And then I kind of thought, I feel like it's appropriate. So as you see by the title, I'm gonna kind of be giving some tips, five kind of major tips that I learned to stop seeking approval from others and to stop giving a fuck what people think. Now, this kind of goes a long way because so many people's experiences are different, but I feel like I'm quite a mature 17 year old. I'm quite a knowledgeable 17 year old. And I know, and I've been through quite a lot of stuff to know how to stop approving what others think of you and letting that impact your life. And I really, really do vibe with this and I vibe with not having to rely on someone's opinion of you. So yeah, this is just gonna be a bit of a chatty one, just kind of talking and thingy and yeah, hope you enjoy it, let's crack on. My first kind of thing that I learned was I was constantly, recently, thinking of the past and how that was treated. Now, whether this is something bad that's happened in your past that is impacting your life still to this day, or whether it's just things that used to happen that don't happen now, and you're sad about it or anything, or things, or people that have impacted your life and you're maybe not as close with now. Something I've got to say is you have to stop obsessing over people, family, friends, relationships that have impacted your life and still to this day impact it. I had a friend that was like one of my bestest friends ever, like we got on so well. And when I actually got out of that friendship, I saw how toxic, manipulative, narcissistic that girl was. And still to this day, it's taught me so many things about myself and how I would never want to be. So something I've just got to say to stop seeking approval from others is to give yourself a break. Stop letting negative, stressful situations override your mind. Because honestly, if you start to have more of a positive attitude, if you wake up in the morning and you're like, right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do something positive today, your thoughts will completely change. Your mindset will completely change. Focus on what is in your control. Now, this is something I vibe with because something that's in my control is my A-levels, for instance. Now, my A-levels are completely in my control because I am doing them. I am the one that is putting that pen to paper and writing them exams. Something that's not in my control is on that day, if a family member passes away, that is not in my control. Something can happen on that day that would mean that everything could fall apart. Now, I say this out of experience. I obviously had my GCSEs and one GCSE was taken away from me. On that day that that all happened, I did have other GCSEs and I don't think I performed as well because I had that on my mind. But without letting negative and stressful thoughts override your mind, that is something that I've got to suggest to you guys. Focus on what you can control and start changing the what ifs to I will. Changing words actually impacted my life so much. Instead of me sitting there and saying, I'm never going to be able to do this. If I thought, I'm gonna try my best to do this, even if it's not great, I'm still gonna try my hardest. The way that your positivity impacts you can go such a massive way. If you just try your hardest to give a little smile and to give a little hope, it will change everything. Now, something that people play around with the idea of is there's an idea of giving a fuck about you or a fuck about other people now for me i am a cold hearted bitc hate like i don't know many people that are this cold like i can cut you off with a pair of scissors in an instant like honestly it's a bit weird and it's a bit scary and it's a bit bad and i don't like it sometimes but sometimes it's got to be done the best thing is to still focus on yourself. Focus on yourself as a better person. And this is something that I've kind of had to grip with and I think in the future I will definitely come to grips with. It's facing my fears. Now, 
I know a lot of people that, for instance, want to travel, but they are worried about every little thing that might stop them along the way. Finances, what they're going to do out there, the people that they're going to meet, worries overriding their mind, what they're going to do when they come back. Now, you've obviously got to have a plan. I'm not saying just like sell all your stuff and then bloody hop on a plane where you don't know where you're going, like ofs. But what I've got to say is your fears of failing or being embarrassed or not knowing what's going to happen into the unknown is what's stopping you from becoming your perfect life. There is actually such a thing as a perfect life, I think. I think if someone really wants it and someone really, truly works for it to make it happen, I definitely think it will happen. For another instant, I hated, 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 and I think a lot of people will be able to add this, hated going into parties. I would know everybody there and I would still hate it with a passion because I felt so like, ah, what if I go in? No one likes me. No one wants to talk to me. No one is going to have a drink with me. No one knows me. Even if I knew people, I would still overthink every little detail. And that's something that stopped me sometimes from actually doing things that I really wanted to do. That obviously comes with anxiety and things. But if you stop creating scenarios in your head and you start thinking of them positively, actually... Even if no one wants to talk to me, I'm going to get my own drink and I'm going to party the night away. Even if I'm not happy, I'm going to pop a smile on my face so people think that I'm confident. It's a little bit like fake it until you make it. College. A lot of people have spoken to me about college and a lot of people have said, like, I kind of went in thinking, oh my God, no one's going to like me. I hate everyone's going to hate me. I went in like that. I went in like, oh my God, what about if I actually make no friends? Um, and then I actually started to dislike college and I went through a vibe where I was like, you know what? No. I am not on this kind of level. But then I start to think positive, like, oh, if I actually put myself out more, people will talk to me, and then I actually have a group of friends. And that's literally how my mindset changed in such a couple of months. Number three, everyone is going through different shit. For, for this, it's kind of like everyone is a little bit imperfect. No one's perfect on this world. You can have a perfect life if you think it's perfect. That's absolutely fabulous. But everyone has worries. Now, I'm going to take me getting a job for an example. When I went in for my job interview, for my restaurant, I was like, oh my God, I know that I'm not the only one that's applied for this job. I'm probably not going to get it because I've got no experience. And instead, I actually put it up into the universe like, I'm going to do amazing this job. I'm going to love it. I'm going to work so hard. Went in spoke honestly spoke that i've not had experience but spoke that i will do everything that i can to make the job the best that it can be everyone has that everyone has like oh my god i'm going to sit in front of someone and they're going to judge me in three minutes on how that they could employ me how they could pay my bills as a such i actually got that job which made me obviously extremely happy but Everyone has that little bit of worry. You are not alone. But if you start giving your power to other people to influence your life, it's never your life. This is something, for instance, partners. If you give the partner all of all of the financial, all of the love, all of the, oh, you choose where we want to go. Oh, you choose what time we want to go. You choose where, what we're doing tonight and all that. You are never in fully control of your life and you will never be. If you constantly give your life away to somebody else, how are you ever going to be fulfilled? Another thing is, if you're adjusting your life to fit somebody else's, that person might not be good for you. Now, this is whether it's friendships or relationships or family. If you're constantly making the most effort with that one person and they are absolutely giving zero percentage back, so I'm to like start looking at the situation and thinking, maybe I am actually not that important to that person and maybe they are actually really not needed in my life. Like, do you know what I mean? Like, there's people that will stick around just to be negative Nancy's as well. Saying no comes at quite a big of a big prize and sometimes people that don't like you saying no really don't like it. So saying no is my fourth gotta be done. If you sit there and say yes to absolutely everything, firstly you'll burn yourself out as hell of a lot. 
people will start taking advantage of you i was always the person in like especially secondary school like oh brooke can you help me with this oh brooke will, will you be able to sort this out for me and i was always like oh my god i feel like a little bit of weight on my shoulders like if someone had a problem they'd kind of come to me and be like oh have you got any advice or anything and i still feel like this with youtube and i feel like this is something that i definitely need to say some people me message me 24 7 which i absolutely love like i love chatting to you guys and things but sometimes i definitely need to take myself away and think actually this problem i might not be the best person I'm talking to about because I haven't got any experience of this and to say no doesn't mean that you don't want to help that person you've got to ask yourself why don't you want to say no is it because you don't want to hurt the person is it because you don't want that reputation of someone that like lets people down for instance now i actually think dan like i'm not even gonna like sit here and like i think dan doesn't like saying no to me because he doesn't want to let me down which is such a lovely trait to have but sometimes it can backfire because sometimes like bailing comes into it if he said yes to me because he knows he's like oh my god i've just suggested brooke but i actually can't do that day because i've got work and now i'm gonna upset brooke and like people get overwhelmed by like responses and stuff responsibilities and people like then start to get a little bit stressy if you just sit there and say i'm actually really really sorry but i actually can't do that for my own health as well like if people take time off for instance youtube and that's fine because they are saying no to basically being overwhelmed by the fact that they can't sit there and pretend that they're all happy and things real friends will not take offense to you saying no like if i know if i turn around to my like my girl amber for instance and said like babe honestly i can't meet today like i'm so overworked she'll be like all right that's fine babe but if you're sitting there and you're saying oh well whatever then whatever of course my fifth and final tip i'm going to talk a little bit more after as well but these are like my tip tips the biggest one for me and the biggest one i definitely think you should definitely follow do things that make you happy. If you're constantly letting people impact what you do as your life, you will never have control over it. You will never stop seeking other people's approval. If you want to do that sport, do that sport. If you want to go out with that guy, go out with that guy. If you want to make a friend, do it. If you want to travel, do it. If you don't want to go to uni, you don't have to. Constantly under pressure to say yes you don't have to be set up boundaries and take that power back because you will change as a person and your life will completely transform do what makes things that you do not have to feel guilty for there are so many things but telling people no your imperfections a down day standing up for your damn god self like people do not stand up for themselves a mask and let people walk all over them do not let that happen whether it's with your family members with people that you don't even know like stick up for yourself guys how to stop overthinking did you guys know right there's 85 percent of what you think is going to happen never does never ever happens and i think that's blimmin crazy right you worry about so much that never happens. And I've always loved the thought of, if you stress about something, you're putting yourself through stress twice. When that happens, and the stress before, like, why do you want to do that to yourself, girls? Like, literally, let it be. What will be, will be. You guys have got to practice self-love. Like, for me, self-love is the most thing. Like, how is anyone meant to ever love you if you don't even love yourself? Like, come on, guys. We all love ourselves. You're all pretty. You're all gorgeous. You're all amazing people. And if you're watching this and you're not like one of my gals, honey, you are incredible. Like, anything you do is incredible. You have to allow yourself to feel emotions. I think that crying is something that I shouldn't shouldn't be doing because I've been told so many times not to cry. I'm allowed to cry, I'm allowed to be a human. You aren't any less. Don't make anyone think that you're any less than who you are because you are a boss ass. Something that I, I just wanna uh, clarify before we end this video because I literally have just like thrown stuff at you and you're probably like, had this in you brick like you know i have noticed over the couple of weeks a lot of relationships and your love for someone does not hide the fact of their toxicness and the fact that they aren't treating you right 
for someone to ignore that shows so many red flags and for someone to actually put themselves after someone else don't let it happen huns like honestly put yourself first every time sometimes it will hurt people but honestly that's how i learned i learned to really just hold myself up hold my own backbone up and put a brick wall up because nobody and i mean nobody is going to have your back like you do because honeys you are you and i just really definitely think that everyone has got their own story everyone's got their own stuff and they've got their own battles going on but literally these tips and some of these chatty that i've just said like say you know like putting yourself first is always what is going to make you a better person doing what you want if you want to go and travel the world next year for your gap year instead of doing uni but your parents don't think that that's a good idea sorry but that's your life like i know obviously obviously situations and things happen but you put yourself first always stop seeking approval from others live your life the best because as i said you only got one thank you for watching this video i'm sorry it's a little bit like ah thank you for watching i will see you guys super soon for my next video make sure you subscribe if you're not already and i will see you guys soon stay safe out there guys bye